Hi everyone, I have something a little bit different today. Um, my husband gave me a silhouette cameo for my birthday recently and I've been having so much fun with it. I still have my Cricut and I will continue to make Cricut projects, but it's just nice to have other options. And one of my favorite things is that I am able to cut images from third-party websites. So I've been cutting and putting together a lot of little paper piecing images. So today I am putting together a layout for a sketch challenge over at Little Scraps of Heaven. Um, you can find this sketch on Little Scraps of Heaven Design Team blog and I'll put a link down below. I've been making a lot of 12 by 12 single page layouts recently, so I've started using sketches for pretty much the first time and I've really been enjoying it. So, this is the sketch I'm using. And to start out with, I have a 4 by 6 inch photo map. And this polka dotted paper is by Recollections. And the, the photo mess is um, from Coordinations. It's from the Choco Chocolate Lovers Pack. It's what I use for most of my paper piecings on this layout. So this cream colored photo mat is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And the brown is four and a half by six and a half. Next I have my little journaling spot, and this was cut from a shape in the, from the Silhouette online store. It was just a top note shape, and I cut it in my Silhouette program, I just cut it right down a little, a little past the center, and I created a shadow for it and cut it out. And this red paper is also by Recollections, it's just the open stock paper. line this up a little bit better. Okay. Next I have this tree paper and this is from the Paper Studio which you can get at Hobby Lobby. Um, again it's open stock and this is cut down to nine and a half inches by nine and a half inches and this brown paper is 10 inches by 10 inches. So this is going to be my centerpiece in the layout. Finally, I have this piece of blue recollections paper. It's the distressed blue paper, and it's been my favorite paper to use as, uh, you know, sort of background paper. It's cut down 11 and a half inches by 11 and a half inches, and then this brown is 12 inches by 12 inches.
finally I have this piece of yellow honeycomb paper. This is also a collection. And this is cut at 11 and a half inches by one and a half inches. So I have this brown paper. This is actually the scrap that was cut off of my um, 10 inch piece of paper. So I have two scraps of it and I'm actually going to piece these together to make my border strip instead of, you know, cutting like a new strip from a full sheet of paper. I do that a lot of times when I'm making borders. That way I can use up my scraps without having to cut down a whole new sheet of paper. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it because I want it to be a quarter of an inch like my, my other borders are. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my other strip. Now I'm going to adhere my tree paper in the middle. In the sketch, it's a little bit further down in the corner like this, but the nice thing about sketches is that you can alter them how you want them, and I like mine more centered, so that's what I'm going for. And now I'm going to add my border piece on top. It's going to be about two-thirds of the way down on the Lego. Maybe, maybe a little bit lower. Next I have this little spot where I can quit journaling, um, and if I add journaling to this I'll probably cut out like a piece of cream cardstock or something. You can see it pictured, they actually have it sort of just like a square piece um, layered on top. But I, I used the uh, designer paper in case I decided not to add journaling, because sometimes I just have pictures that just I don't need any journaling on my layout. so. If I decide not to, the, the paper will um, add, it'll be more of a design element, it won't look like something's missing. So I'm just going to lightly lay this down, and then I'm going to tuck this piece underneath of it. See, I'm trying to line my photo mat up with my honeycombs. Because if I don't get my photo mats and everything lined up just perfect, it will bug me incessantly. Okay. 
So now that I have all of my basic layers laid down, I'm going to take a white gel pen and I'm going to go around all of my edges and do just a faux stitch all the way around. So now that I have all of my doodle stitching finished, I can start creating my cuts. I have this mushroom border that I found in the Silhouette online store. And I cut it at 11 and a half inches across the width, and I just kept all the dimensions the same. There's a couple places where it didn't cut out correctly, like it's a little jagged. But I'm actually going to put a lot of paper piecings on top of it, so you won't be able to see the places where it didn't cut. So that just goes right on the bottom. And then I have this grass border. I use my Fiskars grass punch for this. And it's just going to go right on top of the mushrooms. And now I can start putting my paper piecings. So my first paper piecing is this tree. It was cut from the Sweet Serenity uh, file. And I have it popped up on foam. And I'm just going to use a little bit of liquid glue. trimmed off the edge of my leaves because I wanted it flush on my border. So this is going to go in the corner. Next I have my mushroom house and the file for this is called mushroom house. And as you can see part of it uh, goes over my photo mat so I just won't apply glue to that part. That way I can slip a photo underneath but it still has the foam holding it up so it looks even. Next, I have some mushrooms. These were cut from the Gnome in My Garden collection. And they're going to go right on the corner here. Have some clouds and these were cut from the silhouette online store. These are by Echo Park and I cut about six of them so three large ones and three smaller ones. And on the sketch it has um, you know, the title in the upper corner. I couldn't figure out a title that I wanted for this because I don't have a picture in mind. So I decided instead I would put a sun in the corner. And this is from Little Scraps of Heaven. It's called The Happy Sun File. Some of my clouds are popped up on foam, and some of them aren't, as you can see. And then my C. 
sun is going to go kind of in the center of my clouds. These two clouds will go over here. And I have a little deer. This is also from the Gnome in My Garden collection. He's going to go right here next to my mushrooms. I have a little bunny rabbit in a bucket. Again, he's also from the, the Gnome in My Garden collection. He's going to go right here next to the house in the tree. And finally, I have a little squirrel. And I'm going to place him right in between my photo mat and my journaling spot. So again, if I want to add a little bit of journaling or maybe even take some tiny letters and do a title, I have that option. But if I just want to put a picture in here, I, it will look fine without it. So there is my completed layout for the Little Scraps of Heaven uh, design team sketch challenge. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.